Adventure Dragon Sensei for Soshin in 6 Part 4 about adventures of Dr. Shigeru Akamura to Ecuador, South American country, interesting tropical habitat of different rhinoceros beetles like this one, or this Dynastus Hercules beetle, or this Golofa rhinoceros beetle, or this Scarabidi beetles and butterflies. Observing, searching, taking photos and videos, and creating this interesting movie, which we are very pleased to show you, especially this video during night observation for these unique rhinoceros beetles. And this is Dr. Shigeru Akamura. His name is Dragon Sensei, teacher of dragons. He's an art artist of manga and entomologist. And here he established this light trap in jungles of Ecuador, searching for insects who will be coming here at night time, different groups from different places attracted by this huge light from different hidden places of jungles. But all these nice butterflies come into light. But not only butterflies, some other insects will be coming and we will be showing you these unique insects which were collected here observed and then released later to the nature because they were taken just for video, for photos and for enjoying these really unique living creatures. Oh well, this is a huge grasshopper. This a huge grasshopper came using his very big wings just to the light and was collected here on this white sheet because he is actually feeding on different plants, but at night time he was definitely attracted to the light. And what's about another insect? You see here some small butterflies, some beetles coming, different groups of insects, and who they are. Let's look around, let's search all around this sheet, and maybe some interesting creatures will come and we will be surprised. And definitely we will surprise because jungles are keeping so huge biodiversity of insects. And they are really beautiful. And this is Sphingida butterfly. Nocturnal butterfly. Pretty big size. If you can compare with first. Quite a big one. Very nice moth. And, near, and under this butterfly there is a tortrice there. Or Helmetridae, maybe family butterflies. There's some other small butterflies, small actually nocturnal moths, not butterflies. And what's about another insect? The biggest, biggest were sitting, becoming quiet, so easy to observe them, easy to take in the hand, and maybe released again back to the nature, back to the jungles. To use more portable light very useful because some insects were coming to the light but they are going not directly to the light they can stop just nearby just inside the grass and it needs to take a portable light to find them just in the grass and dr shigeru akamura will show you some interesting butterflies insects who are coming just even on his back because they're sitting all around him but actually, fortunately, they are not dangerous, they are not stinging. They are very careful. This night night is pretty hot. I oh, see you so many crowds, crowds of all the insects, butterflies, beetles, bugs. They are crowding in the direction of light because they were really attracted by light. Some small flies, diptera, small moth, they are just buzzing, they are running, crawling around, hundreds, hundreds, even thousands of them, just some of them, some of the same species, but some species are really different, unique, different in color, different in size, and of course you see this a huge biodiversity of tropical rainforest here in Ecuador, so beautiful tiny butterflies, 
maybe dozens of new species around. Oh, and this is interesting cricket, interesting grasshopper was coming from the grass attracted on the light. Interesting size, interesting shape. And size not very small, pretty big one. Nice hind legs. Still they're crowding closer, closer to the light, so many of them. But most of them they're butterflies, moths, night moths. They keep uh, here nocturnal style of life and they're coming here from natural habitat in jungles. Some species just uh, with the same, you can see they have the same in size, but they need very careful scientific research and observation for identification of species. Who you are coming, a little bit careful around, and maybe you can find some new species who came. Well, which this one, this is quite interesting one. Oh, well, wow, very beautiful beetle, absolutely wonderful. And this is rhinoceros beetle, and this is genus Galofa, this is Dynastine. Yes, this is subfamily of scarab beetles. Dynastine, rhinoceros beetles, this is subfamily of scarab beetles, scarabide. Another species, this is Herculeus beetle, but this is genus Galofa. Very nice beetle. Actually, Galofa, this is indi indigenous, local name used for these beetles in the neighboring country Venezuela. And it was adopted to the genus name. And actually, genus was described in 1837. Galofa, this is large scarabide beetles and male so beautiful male typically have a single horn on a head and just another horn centrally on the prothorax and they're really just very nice they're elongated and they often curve towards each another a very beautiful beetle of a subfamily dynastine and a Fe subfamily Dynastine and family Scarab beetle Scarabide. Okay, and this is same Golofa in morning time, just crawling on a sugar corn, trying to search for food, maybe some sap or juice from a sugar corn. In the daytime, it looks absolutely marvelous. Fabulous beetles, big size. Nice legs, nice horns, and really beautiful. Oh, that's another grasshopper was coming from the night to the light trap on this white sheet of tissue. Well, let's take it in hand. You can see the size. Oh, oh. and others were just crawling around. This is a big size. And who's here just on the ground on earth? Uh, this one sitting grasshopper just on the leg on trousers and see quite a big one um, awesome really awesome look around just was jumping on the earth just crawling on the earth they're just shocked because of light so but nevertheless just jumping just jumping light is disturbing them so much so that's why they stop and they cannot understand the direction where to go in, in the hand is very looking very nice a lot of different different insects flying around and they looks like actually like a rain but this is not a rain these are crowds these are hundreds and thousands of tiny small insects they're flying to the light and just in the contrary light it looks like a, the rain so this is wonderful grasshopper on the hand of a Shigeru Akamura just Dragon Sensei release this funny funny grasshopper yes let's go to the grass let's eat and don't go back to our trap because we are searching for other interesting insects other rhinoceros beetles not butterflies not be not moths we are looking forward to find interesting rhinoceros beetle and and one this one wow this rhinoceros beetle is coming he was coming here we were expecting but we never expected that it. it's so beautiful, really awesome male 
of the genus Dynastus. Dynastus Gercoleus. Absolutely marvelous beetle. Marvelous beetle living in tropical countries of South America. Hercules beetles. Yes, if you take it just on with on horn, looks absolutely huge. Beetle is named after Hercules, a hero of classical mythology, to show his really great strength. Actually, this genus of beetle has many separate subspecies, but adult body is really huge. It's really variable between 5 centimeters to 8.5 centimeters or even more, even longer. It's about 30 and 42 millimeters in width. So a big, long and wide beetle. Actually, this is for female and male can reach up to 175 millimeters, 17 centimeters in length, making them the longest species of beetle in the world. Actually, if your jaws and horns will be included in measurements, and you can take measuring all the beetle together with his so long horn and now we can put it just on hand look how the beetle how he will be crawling around maybe it will try to fly just we need to be careful because he is disturbed with light maybe trying to escape but it's absolutely fabulous to keep living rhinoceros beetles little hercules beetles hugest the biggest Beetle in the world living and here in Ecuador just on hand and he's crawling, crawling, crawling upstairs, up where just on shoulder of Dr. Shigeru Akamura. And do not escape, please do not escape. We will very lucky to find you and just enjoy your company. You see, again the rain of tiny small insects flying in the direction of a light or oh, this nice be Hercules beetle this is Kabutamushi in Japanese coming just on the hand of a Dr. Shigeru Akamura a yeah, very funny situation huge big one but we take it take him very carefully on horn because he has huge claws big legs and can be attached to the head Strongly, but if you take it just on horn, he is very careful and safe, absolutely safe. Yes, this is unique moment of enjoyment, really enjoyment of this situation to enjoy this beautiful rhinoceros beetle, Hercules beetle. Thank you for coming. We are lucky to see you here in natural environment. And you see how many moths were coming, but only one. Big Hercules beetle coming. Thank you for coming. Let's welcome to another series of this movie. Look our another video.